footsteps I looked up to the ceiling above Hey, what is going on, Urban Adventures? Man, it is finally cold today. Today is Monday and look at this. Finally, it's cold. Um, I don't even know how cold it is. I know it's like in the single digits today. See my car is saying eight degrees. All right, that means we should be making ice. But right now we're just gonna go to Fleet Farm, go pick up my new clam, the Nuke XL Thermal flip over shanty. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I have a currently I have three other hubs, one clam and two Eskimos, and also I have a flip over a Frable tractor. But that one's not insulated, so I've want, been wanting a a thermal one for a while so I decided to you know what let's get the thermal because um, my plan is to do a lot of ice fishing this year and you know I like flip over just because uh, you just get to the spot and flip it over and hubs sometimes they can be cumbersome and you know, just a pain to set up in the when it's super super cold especially by yourself so I have a Clam 360 the Eskimo 949 and a two person small Eskimo but I want something with uh, more room and everything and it's just uh, simple just flip over and you're set to go so but yeah we're gonna head over to uh, Mills Fleet Farm that's where I bought it from I'm just uh, warming up my car right now but uh yeah let's let's hit the road and let's go pick up this Clam Nanook XL and I'll show you a uh, side to side comparison too from my old one from the Freebull Trekker to this new Clam so As we are at Fleet Farm right now, we're going to the yard entrance. That's where they wanted us to go. And we'll go pick it up. Can't wait. Then after that, yeah, we'll go inside and we're going to see if they have the clam cushion seats. And uh, pick up some other things. So, alright, follow along. Hello. Hello. Picking up uh, one of the clam shandies. This is my receipt online. What is it? The uh, clam shandy. Uh, clam. That'll be in 14. 14? 14. Okay. Last name. And uh, where is that? Just straight down in the end. Down oh, there. So okay. You got a camera. Yeah. <laughs> for protection. Yeah, protection. And also, I have a YouTube channel too. So. Ah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right, I am at door 14 right now, just waiting for them to open up, I guess, or maybe I have to go inside. I'm not sure. But yeah, let's go inside. He said drive in, so all right, we are driving in. Hey, grab that sheet there. The guy at the gate will need to scan that. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Perfect. All right, perfect, cool. Thank you. Thank you. And I uh, just uh, exit all uh, this way, yep. okay. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of the police. What's that? It's like cops. I'm gonna re record them. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, people that do that too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watched some of those uh, too. I think one was called Audit the Audit on YouTube, and yeah, it's one of yeah. my favorite channels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. 
Hey, let me give you one more. My, uh, that's my logo. That's my YouTube channel. So if you ever want to check it out, so wild urban adventures. Yeah. yeah so a kayak fisherman. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. watch. I'll okay. Watch some, I'll watch some of your videos. Oh, Thank cool. You, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Take care. I'm a fisherman too. Awesome. That's good. Usually, I need to get a camera to record. Something. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, recommend it. So, anyways, yeah. All Take right. care. Thank you, Bob. Yep. <laughs> All right, maybe gain another subscriber right there. That's awesome. You know, one thing about uh, being content creators or business owners or whatever, it's always good to network. Networking with people, just talking to people, that's that's how you get people to follow you or to to like you. I know I'm still a small channel, but it's always good to be open-minded and, and always be helpful. So that's how you get more subscribers and everything. And it's, it's it's not important to get all the subscribers. I mean, it's good, important to get good subscribers. Alright, I believe this is the one. Yeah, I think this is the one right here. Have a seat. Yeah, not too bad. It's got the swivel seats. It's got plenty of room in front. Alright guys, this is the old freeboard right here. Good old, old freeboard. Yeah, if this was thermal, I would be keeping it, but I think it's time to move on from this one and uh, get the thermal one set up. For now, I'm just gonna leave it up here. I'm gonna put the clamp together, and we'll go from there, guys. Can't wait. I don't know that I didn't know that this thing is this heavy. It's like 70 70 some pounds. I know now 
Clam is my new one and the Frabel is my old one. And I'm gonna go through why I decided to upgrade. And the first reason is very obvious. It's uh, thermal and it's gonna keep me a lot warmer. I plan to do a lot more ice fishing this year. So I figure it's why not go thermal. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this. And look XL thermal. Then we'll take a look at my old uh, Frabel. It's a uh, Trigger 3. So I think that's probably like a six or seven year old model so yeah it's held up pretty good and and uh it's gonna be kind of hard to sell it but i don't know i might keep it i'm gonna go through what i like about this nanook xl and what i don't like about it compared to the freewell so so let's uh, get to it again this is the clam nanook xl i like this because it's uh thermal And I also like it because it's uh, taller than me. And I'm, I'm only 5 feet 5, so I'm not that tall. But yeah, this little height here gives me enough room to stand up, up and down. And then the fray bowl, I don't know you really can't see, but it's, I'm, a, I'm a slightly taller than the fray bowl, so I still have to crouch down. And in order for me to stand up comfortably, so. But yeah, let's go take a look on the outside of this frable as you can see this frable is not thermal it's done a good job of uh, keeping me warm and everything but on those cold days where it's in the negatives wind does get through it and as you can see it's still in pretty good shape these windows are I like this plastic it's a lot thicker than the the clam Otherwise, this Fables has served me pretty well. I like the front door that opens up nice and big. And with the climb, it's got two doors. It opens almost towards the middle and into probably a quarter of the side. So that's a pretty nice setup too. That's what I like about it. Now let's go through what I don't like about the clam. And uh, we'll have to take you to the inside. So let's head on the inside. All right, we are inside. And the thing that I don't like about clam is compared to my frable, these are these conduits seem a little thinner than on the frable, and these glass or the plastic see through here it's actually a lot thinner. But I do notice that it is a lot more pliable, so maybe that might pre prevent it from cracking. I'm not sure. So, yeah, post in the comment below if you guys are experienced with these type of plastic, you know, how pliable they are from cracking. Another thing I don't like about these is the seats. The seats are nice, but it doesn't come with padding. I think that for the price, they should come with padding, especially because of sled. I think it's very cheap. It's not like the old Frables, where it's nice and thick. These are actually pretty thin, very lightweight. Yeah, that's like that, that's like the biggest thing that I don't like about this clam. I'm sure if you go into the thousand dollars or or more, the the sled's gonna be a little bit better. Also, this sled is it's shallow. It's not deep like the free wheel. So, I know I do know that the more expensive ones do come with a bigger sled. But the way I look at it is, I don't want to spend over a thousand dollars just for a for a nice house. And these are quite expensive. Now 
But that's pretty much the only thing that I don't like about this clam. Otherwise, everything's really nice. Now let's go take a look at the frable. Okay, the frable, it's got real nice construction right here. I mean, these are a lot older, so I don't know how the new ones are like. But this is a three person. You can fit three people in here. And I like this, the sled. It's nice and thick. It's a very thick sled. And it's actually, the tough, it's a, it's, it's a little more than the clam, which is not bad. These are the windows I was telling you about. You have the door closed so you can actually pop it open and poke your head out if you need to or whatever. I kind of like that, that option. Another thing I like about this frable is that the seats come off like this and you can lay it down here. And I think it lays a little bit flatter so you can stow it, stow it a lot better. I mean, to stow that clam, I mean, it sticks up at least maybe almost two foot, two feet tall. So you have to need a lot of clearance. As you can see, these chairs, they held up pretty well. And these conduits, they feel, they seem like they feel a little bit stronger than the clam. Again, I don't know how the new frables are, but this is from my experience of this old, old frable and going into the new clam. And as you can see, it comes with padded seats, which is pretty comfortable off the top. I don't know how much these frables are when they were brand new, but I'm assuming they're probably going to be right around five, six hundred dollars when they first came out. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't know. It's been a pretty quality sled, ice shanty, flip over and everything. And well, now it's time to move on into that one, and hopefully if that one will serve me well. This frable I had for about two seasons, and I did not use it last season due to some circumstances and I didn't get out so but this here is the clam and hopefully we'll catch a lot of fish out of it do a lot of video out of it and have a lot of fun so I'm either say goodbye to, to the frable I'm kind of debating if I should just keep it though It'd be nice to have extras we'll see well guys hopefully Well, guys, hopefully you guys like this episode of me upgrading to the new Clam Nanook XL Thermal. And it's going to be a lot of fun this year doing a lot of ice fishing and everything. So I'm looking forward to it and then looking forward to the next season of whatever's to come. So anyways, hope you guys like this episode. Make sure you like, share, and comment below. Subscribe. subscribe. And always remember to follow your dreams, follow your passion, make it happen. Catch you guys later on the next episode. Until then, let's go fishing. I woke up to the sound of your footsteps. I looked up to the ceiling above